Hello, I am Marco Antonio Lopez Gallo. Beside me is Monsignor Pedro Lopez Gallo, the president of the Aquinas Hope International Society. I will read now his message to everyone. Dear members of the Aquinas Hope International Society, I salute you with joy, wishing you all peace and prosperity. It is nowadays, when scandals and misfortune is heard all over the world, that we must stand together and truthful to our faith. I encourage you all to stop for a minute and meditate sincerely on your beloved Christ and his message. With this Advent period, we need to remember the good news that are about to come. We need to remember that the misery will soon be left behind, for we have a Savior coming to us. But at the same time, we need to realize that we must imitate his actions so that true salvation embraces us. That is why we need to think about the principles and teachings that our beloved society stands for. God has striken me with an unpleasant illness that is making me distant in body, but certainly not on soul. I am and will always be very close to you, deep inside your hearts. I ask for each one of you to please become daily more and more faithful and loyal to Christ and his church, so that all our efforts may become great realities shortly. As a society, we need from each other And as a group, we are as strong as the weakest of we all. That is why it is so important to care for ourselves and to help our community in all their needs. I offer my illness and pain for the goodness of all of you. I want you to always remember what we stand for as a society and to be truthful to all those principles. We are a spiritual, philanthropic, educational and charitable organization and that means that we must bring God into all the people around us practicing love mercy and forgiveness we must remember the teachings of St. Thomas Aquinas giving hope joy care and support to the ones in poorness and misery we need to promote and sponsor education programs conferences seminars and similar activities that will help in our efforts to make a stronger and better society. With all my blessings, Monsignor Pedro Lopez Gallo. I would like to talk about our Pope Francis. I can say that he is a blessing to us. He has shown us the good example of mercy that our Lord Jesus Christ has given us in his lifetime. Pope Francis loves the poor and the sinner. He tells us of taking good care of the poor. He tells us of forgiving people who have offended us. Sometimes his silence may mean to others that he does not care, but the fact is that I believe that he is forgiving in his heart of all the people who may have criticized him. We need to pray for Pope Francis. We need to support Pope Francis. We need to follow his teachings. We need to be responsive members of the Catholic Church, the only church founded by our Lord Jesus Christ, and he has given us Pope Francis to lead his flock right now. With all my blessings, Monsignor Pedro Lopez Gallo.